I'm back again here today to show you a really awesome app that's available for the iPad that actually will turn your iPad into an external monitor for your computer okay and uh, this is an app that's called iDisplay it's made by a company called Shape Services and it's PC and Mac compatible if you look at the screen right now I have um, the, it's already set up and my iPad is uh, the external monitor and I'm actually going to open a website to show you how it works so I have Google open and watch this I can actually have it on both screens or I can drag it all the way over and there it is it's on the other screen um, you can even scroll um, right now I'm actually using an external mouse that's how I'm able to control it um, and basically once this web page loads I'm going to show you how we can we can scroll go up and down the page um, using the mouse this is probably the only way to actually use uh, a mouse on the iPad because it really that's a feature that doesn't really exist um, right on the iPad but um, with this app running you can move whatever's in your computer over to your iPad and again it just takes it and uses it as an external display so now I can actually drag this window back over I can go halfway again or move it all the way back over so I want to show you um, show you this too you can actually take the iPad turn it long ways and you can we can change the orientation um, so that it'll accept it long ways um, just like that and then I can move it back over again just like this I turn it um, sideways again I want to change the orientation again and it will switch back to landscape now what's cool is your touch screen is fully functional so you can actually manipulate whatever is on the screen any buttons you normally would hit with the mouse go ahead and use your hand I'm gonna actually um, let's see I'm gonna use the keyboard on the computer to type on it let's see I'm gonna go to target.com watch this so again it's everything you can do on the computer it'll translate over to the iPad because really it's just reading the iPad as an external display okay um, so right now it's loading that's kind of cool your finger pretty much becomes a mouse so wherever you tap it'll you know activate those links we can click on this little back button here to go back to our original uh, screen here looks like uh, my internet has closed it oh there we go and I want to take you to the website um, that's affiliated with this app which is called uh, shapeservices.com slash iDisplay because the way the app works is as soon as you download the app you're gonna go to this website and um, there's a software you're gonna download to your computer they have a uh, there's Mac software and there's PC software so you'll download the appropriate one for your computer here's what it looks like right here and um, once you download that software I'm actually using the mouse too so and it's a little bit closer so you can see my mouse moving around the screen and if you look right here these are where the where's the software the Mac version the PC software the app is five dollars that you would download from the app store so uh, you know there's a charge for it but um, this is the only app that I know of that actually lets you do this I don't think there's any other ones in the app store that they give you this full functionality uh, every now and then you get this little thing that asks you about the color scheme I just usually say keep the same but you know that's it turn your iPad into an external display for your computer um, so real quick very last thing I want to show you before we get out of here we're gonna close this out um, we're gonna go to the App Store this is the app right here again I display and um, you would basically type in I display in the search and that would make the app come up uh, in the description it gives you the website to go to on here okay so um, that's where you would find the website to go to there's three main things you need to do to get this app to work properly for you okay 
The first thing is you need to turn off Bluetooth on your iPad because when Bluetooth is on, for some reason it interferes with the Wi-Fi signal and you'll have a lot of problems trying to connect. I spent a half an hour trying to get the app to work and then I went back to read the website and it said, oh yeah, make sure Bluetooth is off. So make sure that's off. The second thing is your iPad and your computer have to be on the same Wi-Fi network. Okay, so if they're on different networks, it's not going to work properly. It actually won't even read at all. So make sure they're on the right networks. And the third thing is that software you download to the computer, um, it's going to put uh, an icon on your desktop. So to get it to work, you want to click on the icon and turn the software on. And then you want to go to the iPad. And I have mine right here. And we want to turn on iDisplay. And once we turn it on, it will begin to start looking for your computer and to start trying to make the connection okay so those and there it is it's looking for it right now and bam it just made the connection right there and my external monitor is right back up so hope you enjoyed that um, download this app it's really cool it's one of a kind and I know you'll be able to take advantage of all the cool features available with this app alright uh, hope you like that